Welcome back to the channel, guys. First and foremost, I just wanted to say thank you all for the love and support. Seriously, the comments you guys have been leaving me, um, the support y'all have been saying in the comments, I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been smashing the like button. Subscribes have been going up like crazy. Thank you all so much. Um, if you're new here, I'm a UPS driver. I make videos informing you all about what I do in the daily life of a UPS driver. So please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. Some very fun videos coming up soon, so please stay along for the journey, okay? Um, you guys have been leave, leaving some comments, and today we're going to be doing a video over how do I become a UPS driver? So we're gonna pretend like you guys, in a month, you wanna be a UPS driver, right? So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to do that, what all it entails, and yeah, guys, just the process, and it's gonna be very fun, so please, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, for new videos, guys, leave some comments on what you guys want to see. Very fun stuff comes coming soon. So let's get it off. Um, you're going to go on the internet, type in UPS-jobs. UPS-jobs. I um, mean, you guys, for a UPS driver, it's going to be a full-time position, okay? So you're going to look for RPCD, which is regular package car driver, or 22-4 position. They're both delivery drivers, same thing, except one gets paid a little less. I don't know why... It even has it, but eventually, if you do, if you are 22-4, you can become a RPCD once you get seniority. So it just goes, most likely you're gonna have to start out as a 22-4, do a year or two, and then bump up in seniority, and you'll get there. So after you apply at UPS desk jobs, you'll probably get a call. You're gonna go, probably take a tour of the facility. They make you do that. So you'll go probably early, seven to eight o'clock in the morning, check out the building, see what all it de details. They'll give you some information. Then you'll get a call, you'll probably have an interview like normal, go in person, have an interview, and then from there, guys, if they like you, they're gonna hire you on and send you down to what they call intergrad school. So intergrad school is a full week of paid training, yes, it's paid training. Gonna go down there, do some computer work, some paperwork, and some very hands-on stuff, checking out like what happens in the back of the truck, how to drive a truck. Oh, step back, one second, guys. Uh, before that, I think they're going to make you go down and take a DOT physical. So you'll go do a DOT physical. Once you pass that, then you go to intergrad school. And then it's a full week of training, computer work, paperwork, hands-on. You'll do some driving. After a week, if you make it through the school, they're going to send you to a center, whatever building you applied for and stuff. So they're going to send you there. And then from there, here's the important part. Please listen, guys. If you want to make it as a UPS driver, what I'm about to say from here on out is the most important part. When you're hot, once you get to your building, your center, you're going to have a 30-day driving probation. Everybody has to go through it. So for 30 working days, not 30 normal days with weekends, 30 working days, you're going to have to make it through what they call a packet. So in this 30 days, UPS at any time can say, nope, you're not fit. Nope, we don't want you as a driver. Nope, you can't make it. So for these 30 days, show up early. Learn your route. Um... Find a driver that has very good knowledge to help you guys out, get informed on what to do. You do not want to call in. You don't want to show up late. You want to be as efficient as you can these 30 days. Um, and just show them that you can do the job, guys. As long as you prepare well, train well, listen during training, you're going to make it. Just please don't call in. Don't be late. And try not to need help on your 30-day probation. Because at any time, they can say, nope. We don't think such and such can make it, so he's not going to be a driver. But say you make it through 30 working days, guys, right? They love you. You make it through 30 days, you're in. You're a UPS driver. Then from there, you want to go apply to be in the union, or you want to get your union card, get in the union, pay your union dues every week. Um, and yeah, guys, then from there, you're going to get paid every... You're going to get a raise. We're a weekly pay. And then you're going to get a raise every 12 months. You're going to get personal time option time, paid vacation, and you make it a career a long time, we get a great pension, guys. So that is how it works. This is how do I become a UPS driver. Like I said, get through those 30 days and you're in, guys. You're going to love this job. I really appreciate you guys. Like I said, work hard, work smart, be informed, always ask questions. If you guys have some more questions, leave some comments. I will reply, okay, guys? I will reply to you guys. So like I said, if you have the opportunity, you have the chance, you have the drive, go be a UPS driver. Make it happen, guys. I love you guys. Smash that subscribe. Smash that like button. Leave me some fun comments. 
Go be a UPS driver. I really appreciate this help. I really appreciate y'all's support. I hope this helped you guys. Hope y'all have the best day. Love you guys. Love people. Love Jesus. Let's get it. Come on.